What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Philly Fan. Always welcome back to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be sure to shout you out for being a new subscriber. Um, so, first round of the draft is over. Um, we have made our pick. Um, this is a video about I hardly take out or bring out two videos in one day. But today, it's, it's something to talk about. So, um... Oh, yeah. was there in we did. We tackled there. one of the main problems Charlie, or main up. issues that we have. Cool. We tackled one of them. We still need a linebacker, um, a middle linebacker. Um, I do think that we still need a middle linebacker. Um, this should be an offensive. Uh, draft for the Eagles. I don't think we need any more skill positions. Um, we do need a middle linebacker, and we do need uh, some more uh, beef um, on the offensive line. Um, but other than that, I don't really think we need. I still think we should get. I think we should get. I should think we should get uh, uh, Greedy Williams because the dude is fast. The dude is fast, and you know I was watching some tape on him. When they showed uh, Greedy Williams, Greedy Williams tape, um, I was watching it and I seen the dude was fast, has good hands. Um, I do think we should get Greedy Williams. Um, I do think we still need a middle linebacker, and I do think. Hold on, let me see. On the TV, and we do think I do think that we should get um, just a couple more. I guess we could get like one or two more uh, wide receiver wide receivers. Um, uh, hold on, sorry. Um, we could get about, um, one or two more receivers, um, but I do think we need to get a, a middle linebacker, and we do need to finish up on the offensive line. Now, Andre Dillard, I just made a video about him. I watched a little bit more of his tape. Um, by what I saw from his tape... He has good feet. He does move his feet a lot, which you need to do. Um, he does seem a little bit. Uh, he does seem athletic. He has he has strong, good hands. Um, he's a big dude, uh, like three hundred and fifteen pounds, six five. Dude's big. Um, he's a good. He has good hands. Uh, he he moves his feet a lot, which is good. And um, nice hands. Athletic. I mean, the dude, the Houston Texans wanted him. The, the, the Houston Texans wanted him. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, when Howie saw the opportunity, Howie capitalized on it. So, I mean, I don't really think it's a bad move. People are going to be like, well, you know, we're not... Other from other teams, oh, y'all just settling in because y'all, because he's on the Eagles, blah, blah, blah. Y'all just thinking, thinking this because he on the Eagles. No. It's the fact that if you watch the tape of this man, of this man, he is a good tackle. He's a good offensive tackle. Now, if he, I think if he played on left or right tackle, I think he would be fine. Because in the combine, people were saying, um, when they put him on the left side, and they made him do kick steps, or kickbacks, or you know, kick step or kickbacks, or one of those, whatever, one of those they call them. On the left side, he did good, and on the right side, he they said that he also did good on the on the um on the right and left side. So I think that he will be able to move. Uh, he's a little bit versatile, as I just said, because people were saying that while he was in the combine, um, and they were watching him, and they seen his feet, and they were watching him do his kick steps. They said he moves his feet very well on both sides. So I think this guy is a really good dude um, as far as player-wise. We have yet to see what to, what's to come. So you guys, once we do see what's to come and whatever, then we can we can um, make our true analysis on it. But until then, watch tape and make sure you get the good information. Um, make sure you watch tape, dissect the tape, understand the tape. Um, yeah, so, I mean, my overall thoughts of the process of the first round draft was pretty dramatic on every, on every team's part. 
it was pretty dramatic and pretty big. Um, it's like people, some certain people made splashes, some people didn't. The Giants are stupid. They're they're really dumb. They're so dumb. They're so dumb. The only good pick I think they ca- they had was DeAndre Baker. That's it. The Giants are really stupid. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a video on that um tomorrow, probably either tomorrow or Saturday. But I will be making a video on that because that's just retarded. That's just really stupid. You got a guy where you could have first of all, Dwayne Haskins was still on the board. Dwayne Haskins was still on the board. And you go ahead and you get Daniel Jones from Duke? Dwayne Haskins was still on the board. Listen, I'm going to make a whole other video because that's going to make me mad. Because that's really stupid. Even though I don't care about the Giants, what the Giants do. Gettleman, you should be. David Gettleman, David Gettleman you should be the GM for the next 20 years, 10 years, whatever. But I'm just saying that that move was really dumb. Anyway, um, yeah, so I think the first round of the draft was pretty good. It was pretty dramatic. It was pretty, um, all the stipulations and all the speculations and all the projections um, for the first round has been put to rest. Um, but, of course, it's not going to be the same way for um, tomorrow. Uh, there's still going to have speculations and all that stuff about these teams and, you know, whatever. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's what I wanted to say about tonight's draft. Make sure you like, 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 comment, and subscribe. And, um, yeah, I mean, you guys have a good night. Have a great draft night. And whoever went to a draft party, make sure you be careful because I know you guys are probably drinking. And be careful because for some of you guys probably went to a draft party. Be careful. And um, go Eagles. Hashtag fly Eagles fly. Yes, I did say hashtag. I know. Hashtag fly Eagles fly. Leave that always out.